uh, well, anyway, uh, tonight's commentator positively revels in springtime in suburbia. No one I know got spring fever this year. It took forever for things to green up in Eden Prairie. It's been a runny nose kind of spring, cold and gloomy, and even though it could snow again, I know winter is history. Now, the reason I know this is because men have shifted into a more intense involvement with small machines that make a lot of noise. It's a seasonal thing. Unless we are poets or bird watchers, men make a lot of racket in spring. Out of storage come the lawnmowers, mulchers, weed eaters, leaf blowers, oven roods, chainsaws, and fertilizer spreaders. On a nice Saturday morning, when everyone should be laying back with a quiet cup of coffee, with robins chirping outside his kitchen window, the fella next door puts a sander to a rusted-out Ford, the guy across the street attacks grass with a Toro, and some social problem a block away attempts to rev up his half-dead motorcycle. Every Saturday about 7, the neighborhood sounds like the falsetto version of the Indy 500. High-pitched little machines all over town that scrape the nerves and can peel oak bark. This wail is the price a guy must pay to start feeling good about himself again. Let's not forget that from Monday through Friday, surrounded by the idiots at work, the American male has had to put a lid on it. He's had to pretend that the boss's ideas are actually good and that he really admires the weasel on the fifth floor who is after his job. The, af the, the average guy can become dangerous having to swallow the bromides of the workplace too often. You know, pills like it's a win-win situation. No, he'll smile when he hears them, but he's in pain. That's why, on a beautiful spring weekend, when a guy sees his noisemakers lined up in the garage, he begins to feel a bit better about himself. Then, when he pulls that starter rope on the mower, he's captain of his own lawn. Damn the robins. Full speed ahead. Let's clip us some grass.